Fire in the hole, let's cook a pork loin. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome to my backyard. Happy New Year. What I got here today is a 20 pound pork loin. He's already been uh, tied up and it's put on my barbecue spit because we're gonna uh, rotisserie him. And I've got some store-bought mojo marinade. Now last week I made my own mojo, but this week I'm going cheap side and I'm gonna use a store-bought mojo. And I'm gonna inject this pork loin with it. I'm gonna give him an injection. He's gonna be injected, selected, and inspected. I'm gonna get that mojo all in him. That's a beautiful 20 pound pork loin that I got. Get some of that marinade in my injector. And we're just gonna give him a random injective injection of the mojo marinade. That's the good stuff right there. But that's not all we're gonna do. You'll see. So let me get him injected and inspected and selected. And then we'll get him pumped up with that stuff. And I'll bring you right back. We got some more stuff to do to him. So stay tuned. Alright, I got my pork loin injected with mojo marinade and I've got him on the spit, but I haven't installed the motor so I could make it easier to spin him like that. And what I'm gonna do now is take some of that garlic in a tube that I like so much and I'm gonna smear that all over him. I'm gonna get him smeared down with that garlic in the tube. That's good stuff. You see me use that in my uh, stir fries because it's just so handy. And I've got more of that, don't worry. So I'm gonna uh, get him all covered up with the garlic in the tube and I've got him loose so I can turn him to make it easier to work with. I'm gonna smear that on him. I lost this piece there. I got plenty. So don't worry, that, that's some good garlic right there, some good garlicky flavor. It's gonna be all infused in that pork loin. You get some on the top here. I got uh, two and a half tubes of it, so I'm not too worried about running out. Get some more of that on there. Get that all covered up with that garlic. And this is my own recipe, if you're wondering. I didn't learn this from anyone. I figured it out myself. So uh, yeah, let's just, you know, while I'm waiting for my charcoal to come up to temp, we'll spread that garlic on here. And I could have got away with one tube, I guess, or one and a half tubes, because he's pretty much covered up with the garlic. So what we're gonna do now is I got some rosemary that I'm gonna chop up. Some rosemary. And hopefully, you know, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. This is my own idea could work, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. We're gonna find out, we'll find out together. How about that? So anyway, I'm chopping up some rosemary leaves, which I should have done ahead of time, I guess, but I didn't. Okay, that's good enough right there, I think. We'll take our chopped up rosemary and spread it on top of that garlic, like that. Hopefully some of it will stick. I'm sure some of it won't. Let me get him turned a little bit. Put some more of that. Yeah, some of it's falling off, but it's okay. It's okay. We don't really need that much. We just want to kind of a crusting him with rosemary. We don't have to worry about salt and pepper because the mojo has plenty of salt and pepper in it. I'm gonna turn him this away. Get some more of that on there. Probably should have got more of that. I'm gonna have a whole spot of that where he's not covered, but it's okay. It's no big deal. I'm gonna gather up some more of that. So there you go, you got the general idea. He's crusted in rosemary and garlic. We're gonna install the motor, get him spinning, and cook him. And I don't know how long it's gonna to take to cook a 20 pound pork loin. What I'll do is let him go for about an hour, and then I'll check back on him after an hour. I'll check him with the instant read thermometer and see what we got. And uh, it's gonna take a while. My charcoal's not even hot yet. But anyway, I'm gonna install the motor and get that spinner and I'll show you what that looks like. So stay tuned. All right, my uh, pork loin is spinning on the rotisserie 
and my wife was right. The, the rosemary didn't stick the way I wanted it to, but it's okay. It's going to be all right. You'll be able to taste it. Don't worry. You'll be able to taste that garlic. You'll be able to taste that mojo marinade that he's injected with. It's going to be grand. So all we got to do now is put the cover on and let him rock and roll in there for a while. And then we'll come back after a while and drink a beer. And uh, that'll be the end of my little video. We're going to slice that puppy up. I got Dennis's slicer standing by. We're going to make sliced pork, hopefully, today. So anyway, yeah, we're going to let that cook a while. And I'll bring you back and show you what that looks like after about an hour. So stay tuned. That's been about an hour. And I just checked the temperature on my pork loin. And he's running at about 109 internal. I want to get him up to about at least 165, 170. 60, 165 would be fine, internal temp for pork. But he's looking really good, he smells excellent. That garlic is really smelling good. Let me back out of that a little bit. Oh yeah. He's basting himself with his own fat. And all that rosemary and garlic on there, really looking good. So stay tuned, we'll drink a beer. And maybe by that time, we'll be ready to slice this puppy up. So please, stay tuned. Okay, my pork loin is rocking right along, but he's not quite ready to serve. So uh, I'm parched, I need a beer. Look at today's amazing beer is Dogfish Head Midas Touch Ancient Ale. I gotta tell you about this beer. This beer is somewhere between wine and mead. Our original ancient ale is made with ingredients found in 2700 year old drinking vessels in the tomb of King Midas. Barley, honey, white muscat grapes, and saffron. Midas Touch Ancient Ale. I can't wait to try this. I read all about it. I'll put a link in the description about how Dogfish Head came to uh, make this beer. This amazing beer that uh, has a lot to do with mead and honey. And uh, let's pour that out. Look at that stuff. Well, it looks unremarkable. It's a beautiful golden color with a nice, not excessive head. A very beautiful beer. Dogfish head Midas Touch. I can't wait to get a taste of this. Take a sniff of it. Let's take a smell roll. It actually smells like like grapes, like wine. But I can't wait to take a taste of it. It's got a beautiful lacy head, golden color. Roll, let's quaff the froth off it, baby. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Roll. That is very good, but nothing remarkable about it. I have to say, it tastes excellent, but they, I guess they hyped it up too much because it just, it tastes rather ordinary. Let me take another sip. You know, you gotta, sometimes you gotta take two sips. Yeah, it tastes good, but uh, Ingredients from 2700 old year old drinking vessels. I don't know It does have white muscat grapes and saffron barley and honey It's not sweet at all You could smell a bit of a grape Smell to it, but all in all It kind of falls short of the mark. You know what I'm saying? It's not It's not the great hype that I thought it was gonna be anyway. It's very good very good beer but uh yeah, it's not uh, not worth seeking out, in my opinion. Anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's check on our pork loin, get a taste of it. And that'll be the end of the video. So stay tuned. My rotisserie pork loin is done. We're gonna cut right into the middle of that puppy. As soon as I get a pair of tongs over here to hold the meat with, let's cut it right about here. We're gonna slice into that baby. Show you what it looks like on the inside. Beautifully cooked pork, juicy and delicious. I must say, I would like a slice of that for myself to taste. 
So I'm gonna slice off a bit. I have Dennis's slicer in the house, so I'll be slicing this up for sandwiches later. But I'm gonna take a taste of it right now. It's got all that garlic and mojo and uh, rosemary on it. Let me take a taste of that. Oh man. You know, I know I say this every time, but I really hooked it up this time. I got to tell you, that is awesome. Awesome pork loin, awesome dish, my own creation with the garlic and the rosemary. Uh, happy New Year, everyone. Let's drink a toast. The new year may be better than the last year, which wasn't that great. If you like this crap, Please subscribe. If you don't, go over and see my boy David Hughes over at Food D. David's rocking the YouTubes with his recipes. Go check him out. Come back next week. We're going to cook a ham, I think. It might not be a good ham, but we will drink a beer. And this dogfish head beer has gotten better as it has gotten warmer. Believe it or not, it's, it really tastes good. You can really taste the grapes in there and the honey, but it's not overly sweet. So it kind of surprised me. Anyway, that's my pork loin babies. We'll see y'all next week. Happy New Year. Subscribe to me, check out David Hughes. Come back next week and we'll drink a beer. What do you think? Okay, bye.